I can't say this clearly enough, people are dying in a very wealthy country of entirely preventable uh, preventable causes. And so, in a way, that's a question not just of those people's biology, it's also a question of the social networks that get people to hospitals in, in the first place. If we really do believe, and I think the evidence is very strong, that people's morbidity and mortality is linked as much to their zip code as their genetic code, that in a way we have to start looking not just at their genetics but also at their zip code. And doctors have a social responsibility to do that. And so what we try to do in the paper is argue that doctors need to be not just aware of how social factors can in, can make people sick and, and, and kill them, uh, they also need to be advocates for improving not just biological conditions, but also social ones. We argue in the paper that what needs to be done to make better health practitioners is to start at training them early on in the training process about issues not just about biology and genetics, but also about economics and urban infrastructure and other social factors. And so what we do in the paper is we propose a five-step model for medical training that makes doctors aware of the, these factors.